What do I like the most about Volume 17 of Love Pudding Legacy? Anyway, uh, if you've seen the previous one about what I didn't like about the volume, you would know I dislike the majority of this volume. So I only like the last two chapters, so. The one thing I like about this, there's an idea I like, but I don't believe I emphasize enough. Because if we look through this shot, she's happy to get another day, and then she thinks about Pelise and her family, and she's unhappy. However, the way this is communicated through the layout it could have been done better good idea but poor execution when i get to my anime remake you can avert this issue in the future the second shows up and she can forget everything i really like how it, sh it shows that he is manipulating her and but he's also kind of sick of playing a charade and he's kind of getting bored so the thing I like also in this scene is they're going to the movies and while they're doing that we see Ellie and Yaksha. She's mad and she's just distracted so she's yelling at him. So Yaksha is just like zoning out and he see he recognizes this is Jolvis because he knows what he looks like. So he finally meets him and he knows who he is because he hadn't physically met him with Raimi and knew this was second because Raimi hadn't told anyone. And he finally recognizes it. And you know what's really funny? He's like, Yaksha! Yaksha! He's just like distracted and she can tell that he's not paying attention and she's just stuck being mad. You can see during the scene when they're watching the movie, he's trying to get closer of her, of course, to manipulate her. But my favorite part is just adding some hesitation. Why? I don't want to say. I like to leave a part of something about him a mystery but he kind of curses himself for not trying to go through the plan that he was trying to do because he was trying to further separate her from her friends by implanting her some negative thoughts about them but what he did instead was ended up comforting her honestly um i really like the idea that she isn't hanging out with her friends as much but I really wish it was a lot more apparent and I could have done something more with those scenes where they felt concerned that she wasn't hanging out with them and they were worried about her because of the tragedy that happened, which I'm not spoiling because uh, I'm not done yet. As in, I'll read the spoilery parts of the first Love Pudding manga and then I'll eventually get to the spoilery parts in Legacy. Because some of the story is changing in the anime remake anyway. Yeah, you get to know what I was thinking a little bit. Alright, goodbye.